Hello, so today we're going to be doing NG tube insertion. So to, before beginning the, the procedure, you want to have your patient in a reclining in the bed at about 45 degrees. Um, you also want to have a signal with them to say when they would like you to stop the procedures, they're not going to be able to talk to you. So I've got my equipment ready here. First thing I'm going to do is measure from the incisors to the mastoid process and then down from there to the ziffy sternum. So on this mannequin, it's about 49 centimetres, but usually to be safe, you'd insert the NG tube to about 55 centimetres. So next, I'm gonna wash my hands and then pop my gloves on. So we've got our NG tube here, let's get rid of this piece of paper. It's got the guide wire inside at the moment. So I'm just going to lubricate the tip in some sterile water and then pass it into the nostril. So once it gets, the tube gets down to the pharyngeal air area, you can ask your patient to take some sips of water to help it go down and then you want to pass it up to 55 to, um, centimetres. There may be a bit of resistance. You can withdraw the tube and then pass it again. and then we've got to 55 centimetres there. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the guide wire and just pop that straight into the sharps bin. Oh. Okay, um, so usually you would take an aspirate from the NG at this point this using your purple enteral syringe. Um, so this mannequin doesn't give us any aspirate, which can be quite common. Um, so you can change the position of the patient, give them a little bit of time and then come back, or you can roll them to their left side as well to help. If you can't get an aspirate at all, then you can do an x-ray to confirm the position of the NG tube. So we have got some orange juice in here to simulate this the aspirate so what you do is just squeeze that into the galley pot and then using your litmus paper just dip that in the pot so we can look at the pH so give that a couple of seconds and this is a nice bright yellow color so it's a pH of about three or four. So anything below five, we're happy with. And then you can attach your dressing. So the wider parts go onto the nose. And this just helps to keep the tube in place. And then the second part just wraps around the tube itself. There we go. And you want to just make a note of where you're, um, you want to close this as well. Um, and make a note of where your um, NG is advanced in, up to on the measurements on the tube. And then you need to complete this form with the date and time the consent that you've gained and you can also um, confirm the measurement, the tape measure measurement here and also where the distance at which the NG tube is sitting within the, the patient.
and that needs to be put into the notes and it needs to be signed before you can begin to use the tube for feeding.